meow, and I just picture them like doing their little. <laughs> Hello again, everybody. Eric back with mom. And uh, before we get into today's video, please make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe as always. Of course, we are back checking out some music today. And for the first time, we have kind of a theme. She's got no idea what we're getting into. I say kind of a theme. Uh, so recently, we listened to Till I Collapse by Eminem. That was, I think you liked that one, yes. the one with Nate Dogg. Yeah. And uh, if you remember, he talked about how he gets disrespected and doesn't get put on the list of the best rappers. And then he gave us his list. So that's what we're going to be doing in our next few videos is we're going to be checking out Eminem's list oh, good. of the best rappers. So there's going to be a couple people in here that we've heard before. Uh, obviously, he puts himself at the end of the list. We've heard him already. And uh, there's going to be some people that mom has not heard yet before. So uh, there is going to be one that I could not find that's corrupt. Uh, I had a lot of trouble finding any of his lyrical uh, lyric videos on here. So I'll probably have to find something with him. On like a Snoop Dogg song or something like that. So uh, we're going to go kind of in the order that Eminem listed. And we're starting off with Reggie. Of course the list went Reggie, Jay-Z, Tupac, and Biggie. Andre from Outkast, Jada Corrupt, Nas, and then himself. So Reggie is Redman. I think when we did that song I asked if you knew who Redman was. But I don't remember what you said. I didn't. So uh, obviously Redman is a rapper of course. He is uh, out of New Jersey. Eminem puts him on his list because he's very lyrical. And he's definitely more of like a silly, kind of like a goofy rapper. And he's definitely going to say some things that you have no idea what he's talking about. And I have no idea what he's talking about. He kind of has his own like New Jersey brick city style. But uh, the song we're going to be checking out today is Red Man and Method Man. So you said you're not familiar with Red Man. Are you familiar with Method Man at all? You ever heard of him? I've heard of it, but... So Method Man comes from the Wu-Tang Clan, obviously. I'm okay. sure you've heard of them. Yeah. They had nine members. He was one of them. Yeah. And uh, he was one of the ones that really, like, kind of broke out on his own. But uh, he teamed up with Red Man for an album in 1999 called Blackout. Their styles really mesh well together. And these days, they're basically synonymous with one another. It's Method Man and Red Man. That's what most people would really even know for the last 20 years. Uh, essentially, but the song we're checking out is The Rock Wilder or The Rock Wilder. This is a single off of that Team Up album uh, called Blackout. And this is actually named after the producer of the song, who is Rock Wilder, which I don't think you would know him, but uh, mm -hmm. the song of that he produced that you would know would be uh, Dirty by Christina Aguilera, oh, okay. yeah. which is uh, basically a ripoff of a Red Man song. I'm trying to find the lyrics video to that, so we might oh, get really? into that at some point. Yeah. Uh, obviously, Redman was in that song, too, so... I, I say a rip-off, but I think she had permission. But, yeah, I'm trying to find that one, so we'll try to get into that at some point. But, uh, yeah, without any more jibber-jabbering, this is The Rock Wilder from uh, Method Man and Redman. Oh, my God. Short song, and it's got oh my God. a little bit of an intro. intro for a two minute song Phone checker, swinging sword lecture, closing down the sector, supreme neck protector. Better want him, kid, Mr. Mepsa. Falling pop, about to blow his lid from the pressure. Too hot for TV, for sheezy. Too many wanna be hard, be easy. It's all in the cover, going all out together. It don't take much to please me. Still, homes are never satisfied like the stones. We don't condone right and see them selling crossbones. Protecting what I'm writing, don't clash with the titan. Who blast with a license to kill rap recitants? Come on, in the zone with your nigga from the group home to cow. Your lifestyle, put your life. Out. Get this shit to crack and got you feeling with your pipes out. Time for some action. Surfing the avenue, mad at you. Where I used to battle groups. Back when Antoinette had that attitude. Cover me, I'm going in. Walls closing in. Got us busting off these pistols. My niggas got issues again. Same song, on with the mega bomb. Blow you out the frame, then I'm gone. Yep. All right, that's where we pause because there is no chorus in this song. So uh, there's only the two verses. That was the Method Man verse. Did you pick up anything that he was talking about, even remotely? 
Not really. It's a lot of uh, <laughs> metaphors, double entendres, and like slang. <laughs> like Method Man and Red Man, they really kind of have their own language, honestly. Uh, unless you've been listening to them for a really long time, it's kind of hard to figure out what they're talking about. Sometimes it's like they're just rhyming just to rhyme. Uh, like I said, if you don't really know like the double meanings, a lot of stuff, I don't even know what the hell they're talking about. So I don't know. Somebody will have to let me know in the comments. As far as I can tell, is just talking about how good they are at spitting, really. But uh, what do you think of the beat so far? It's definitely like high speed, kind of techno-y a little bit. It's a little bit techno-y, but it's still something that you could you could dance to while you were doing housework. Yeah, any time. This is definitely their biggest song that they've ever had commercially. Yeah. Um, they've had some sm other smaller ones, but uh, I like the. Um, I don't know if I'd call it like a tuba or some kind of like instrument in the background it's just like bow, bow, and i just picture them like doing their little <laughs> goofy dances and stuff that they do on stage uh they still do shows to this day and this is always the most popular one that might be something i'd have to knock off my list is uh, i haven't been to a concert in forever but uh all right now we're gonna get into uh red man's verse I was going to, but we roam cellular phones, doc map, back in the flesh, blood and bones, don't condone, spin bank loans and homegrown, suckers break like turbo and ozone, when I grab the broom, moonwalk, platoon, hawk, my goons bark, leave you in the blue lagoon, lost, true, three nines in the club with my suit, he dying in the club, right behind on the bars, haters don't touch, what? way it's both up, now my neighbor doped up, got the cable hooked up, all channels, lift my shirt, all mammal, you ship off keys and we ship grand piano. So on shotgun, hand on the pump, sipping on the 40, Yo, smoking on the blood, bust my gun, Yo, red and meth, hit and jump, la 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 This is like the only catchy part. La 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 Come on, red and meth, hit and jump, la 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 They're not even in tune. And that's it. <laughs> well, yeah, that's kind of their thing, is like I said, they're really like goofy, um, you kind of could pick up a little bit of what he was talking about there. Redman is one of those rappers, like he said, he's like silly and all about like, uh, to steal a, a term from Nori, like being like a grimy dude. Like he did a sh an episode of MTV Cribs and it was like his actual place. And it was just like this rundown apartment, like yeah. in the hood. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So he just like, I don't know. He's kind of known for like keeping it. I don't want to say, like, hood or, ga or gangster, but, like, keeping it kind of hood, even though he's really rich. He's just a funny dude. They actually have a movie together, which everybody out there knows it, but they they did a stoner movie together. It was kind of like, kind of like uh, Cheech and Chong, not for, like, my generation, because I think I was a little uh, younger when that came out, but it was called How High. And, I don't know, maybe you've heard of that before. It was no. fairly popular. It was kind of like a half-baked kind of uh one of those deals and um i think they actually did a song together for that movie and then that was kind of how they linked up and led to the movie and the album and all that stuff so uh like i said pretty short song but what did you think of it i think i know your opinion I think it was cute cute yeah it cute. it's supposed to be like goofy. kind of silly yeah, and goofy good. like i said um if you ever saw like any clips of them at their concerts they're just really funny they're just very goofy rappers um i don't think i've ever heard red man do like a serious song i'm sure he has but i'd have to uh, dig into the vault for that one but uh so we've still doing pretty good on the thumbs up i think we've only ever had like what one or two maybe it was just one really that yeah it might but have been just the one afterwards. and then she re-listened to it and liked it after that I so it didn't it even really yeah. matter yeah but uh so yeah that was the rock wilder by method man and Red Man, hopefully you all out there enjoyed it. I'm not going to remind you all of what you should do again, since I did it at the beginning of the video. But uh, we will continue Eminem's list the next time we will uh, be doing a team-up of two guys together mm -hmm. from Eminem's list. So uh, make sure you come on back for that. And until next time, enjoy the rest of your night. For Mom, I'm Eric, and we're out of here. La, 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 la.